Hebrews 12. To be a Christian is to be running a race, totally focused upon Jesus as the end point. Well, Hebrews 11, the previous chapter, has listed many faithful believers in the Old Testament times, and now we read in Hebrews 12, Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that does so easily ensnare us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the author and completer of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despised the shame, and is now sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Think on him that endured such hostility from sinners against himself, so that you do not grow weary and faint in heart. So, the believers of Hebrews 11 are dead. They are waiting for the day of Christ's return and resurrection to receive their reward. But their examples cheer us on. Read your Bible. Not just books about the Bible, but the Bible text itself. Get to know those people. They are cheering you on as you run your race. You are not out for a stroll wandering around. You are running a race. So keep focused. And the focus is on Jesus. He was one of us, of our nature. He made it. He ran that race to the end. Think on him, we've read. This is what it is to be a Christian, to have a mind focused on Jesus. It's the state of our mind which is all important who we are when nobody is looking, what we think about when we wake up and as we fall asleep, where our heart is. So don't fill your mind with anything else. Don't listen to the empty songs of the world, which fill your mind with their images and their lyrics. Don't follow the idols of this world, the sporting personalities, the music stars. We have Jesus. He is the one who will never disappoint. Fill your mind with him. Run the race towards him, not looking for personal reward, but just to be with him, to be as him. That is the end point. That is where we're being led by every irritation, by every disappointment, by every hard blow that we go through in this life. We're being led to identity with him.